Okay, so this documentary comes out and Griselda's living back in Colombia. But then, four years later, September 3rd, 2012, Griselda Blanco was out with her pregnant daughter-in-law at a butcher shop on the corner of 29th Street in Medellin. And what happens next? I actually been to the butcher shop. Uh, so she, uh, she wanted to cook a big dinner for her family, you know, because she had become family oriented. You know, she was, you know, all about her family. You know, she was retired from the real, she was a 69 year old grandmother, you know, doing all the things that she had missed out on the 20 years she was locked up in prison. So her daughter-in-law drove her to the butcher shop. She got out the car, went in, and it's a, a open-sided butcher shop on both sides. Uh, while she was at the counter, a motorcycle passed by. Caught her attention. So she continued what she was doing. Passed by again. So she continued paying for her, her meat. And mind you, that's a one-way street. So as she's coming out of the butcher shop, that same motorcycle, the same two guys on it, wearing helmets. Came by a third time, but this time he slowed down and stopped at the curb. So the guy on the back of the motorcycle jumped off and ran at her and let her have it. She was assassinated. Yeah, she was shot to death. In a similar fashion that she would have people killed during the Miami drug wars. Well, she invented the, the so-called motorcycle assassination technique. Yeah. Where, you know, the guy on the back, back of the motorcycle, when they drive by, the guy on the back of the motorcycle is the one who let you have it. Do you have any idea who did it? Uh, did anyone take credit for it? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. So do you know, not to get off subject, but do you know a guy named Papaya? Mm -mm. Pablo Escobar's top hit man. Okay. So I met with him in Medellin before he died of cancer. And so he told me the entire story off the record. So he was the one that had her killed? No, no, not at all, not at all. But he know who was involved, but he, huh. had, he had zero zero to do with it, zero. So, so you know who did it? Maybe so, maybe not. But you're not gonna tell me who did it? <laughs> okay. Was it a revenge for some of the stuff that she had done Absolutely, previously? 100%, absolutely. So it was just karma catching up? From the faraway past, absolutely. I mean, why was she living in Medellin knowing how much beef she had, okay, how see, much bloodshed. Okay, see, the thing over there is, Griselda was revered in Medellin. Okay. She was completely revered. Everywhere Griselda went, they showed her love. She was completely revered. Okay, and you say that you've been to that butcher shop, you've been to Columbia. What were you doing in Columbia during those times? Okay, so when I wrote my book, before I started writing it, I had a vision of closing my book at her grave site talking to her. Hmm. And so I went to Medellin for that very purpose uh -huh. of closing my book at her grave site. After she died? Yes. Uh -huh. 